What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got the fifth episode of my Ajax career mode. It's fourth or fifth, I'm not sure actually. Either way, we've got another episode of the Ajax career mode. Today we've got the January transfer window, as well as a couple of games against Heravin and Feyenoord. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Remember to like, subscribe. Apologies for there being no video yesterday of me sounding a little bit ill over the next few videos, including this one. I've got a bit of a cold. Nothing I can do about it, though. I still want to get this video out for you guys, though. So I hope you still enjoy it. Please remember to subscribe. I want to hit 70 subs by the end of the month. Let's try and sort out this squad and decide who I want to keep and cut now we've had a bit of a chance to play with the team. So let's get in some transfers, see who's going where. Okay, so despite saying I probably wouldn't sell him, I have sold Schoen to Montpellier for 5.3 million. I thought it was a decent deal. That adds 3.9 to our transfer basket, which should give us around 7 or 8 million to spend, which will allow us to get maybe one or two decent players, depending on their cost. So I think that was probably, in the long run, a good choice. I've also sent out some scouts in looking for, first of all, a centre mid, a new centre mid to replace Schoen. A possibly a striker to sign on a pre-contract and a new right midfielder as a backup to Neres. So hopefully we'll get some responses back there. Okay, so this one came completely out of the blue. Sassuolo have paid 3.3 million, purging his release clause for Christiansen, our third choice right back. So I will take that happily for the cost we have got for him, which adds another 2.3 million, they said to our transfer bus budget. So we're now looking a lot stronger, able to get possibly a couple of decent players if we put it around 90. Yeah, 9 million to spend now. So hopefully with the young players, obviously, that were under 21s that we have to get, we should have some cash free. Okay, here we are. No transfers as of yet, but we're into our game against Heronveen. We need to get three points and we should. We're fairly better than this side. Our full team is, of course, going out. So... Currently, as the league stands, be remembered, um, Feyenoord and Vitesse Arnhem both sit on 38 points. We sit on 35. This is our game in hand on them. So, three points are needed. Dolberg, he's into the team now. Fairly high potential player, but I've never been a huge fan of him. Neres has also returned from injury. This could be a fast start. I thought it was. I honestly started celebrating for a second there. But the Heron bin. I remember they had a, couple, good, a good season a couple of years ago. Finn Bogasson was a great player from the Icelandic striker. That, that had power in it. You know, Finn Bogasson a couple of years ago. I remember him, of course. Absolute Oh, dear God. Again. A new video, but still, I'm passing it to the strikers. Okay, won it back nicely. Labiad. He's actually got 12 goals so far this season. He's been very prolific. Oh, it's again our throw. We're being the best side so far. Oh, off the post. We're so unlucky there. Well, yeah, that's a nice ball to him. Dolberg's up the inside. And, oh, didn't quite fall to any of our players. Fico's got some space. Let's switch it into the centre, though. Gabby Jesus. Gabby Jesus. That's a huge miss. Should finish that from there. Can we take that? I'd like that ball, please. Bouncing around like a ping pong. And it's come out to them. But I think Delish. Delish is strong centre back. He had that covered. That was good play. Okay. Jesus, I can see a gap through the middle here. Jesus can have a good touch and he does. Jesus. Good stop from the keeper. We're going to swing it back in. It's almost the end of the half. So we do need to keep it up this end. We're going to swing a ball in Lavia. Yeah, this will be the end of the half. Oh, what a stop from the keeper. That was a good save at the end of the half there. Not Jesus. Jesus didn't save. That was a powerful shot, though. Unlucky not to go one up with that. But Veltman's managed to get in the way. We've got a lot of space now. Neres. Come on. Jesus has got a huge amount of space. Jesus. Can't miss that. Doesn't matter how ill you are, you can't miss that shot. Go on, it's fallen for it. I was so confused that it fell for me that I just didn't realise to shoot at first. But De Jong, the captain, stepped up there 1 0. It's fallen a little bit luckily for us there, but they all count. You can see I delayed the shot there because I just wasn't expecting it to be in that position. But 1 0 to us over Herabine. Feltman played the pass late and his. 
It's going to cost us. Oh, okay. Good stop on Arnold, but no! They've equalised. 1-1. One, one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Surely not a defeat. Surely not. Another good stop. That is why we're not selling him. Triple substitution. We're trying to use more of our backup players. I think Bangay and Mazrui, who I'm never going to be able to pronounce his name, all come in onto the pitch now. Can Herovin get an equal, a winner? They might if we're clearing like that. Up the pitch. Come on. Can we get a winner here? Okay, it's played through to Neres nicely. Can't lose the ball. We've lost the ball. That's going to be the end of the game. So 1-1 one, one draw. We can't be dropping points here. If we want to get that Champions League, if we want to win the league, which we do, we have to be picking up points here. Hopefully, in this next game against Farland, we can get the win. Last time, we lost 3-0. Robin Van Persie bagging the goal. Let's get into that. Okay, here we are, the second game of the episode. Ajax versus Feyenoord. We are at Feyenoord's ground. The East Point of us, not their stadium, just is it. But we are up against Feyenoord for this one. Huge game. They're currently two points ahead of us in the league. So a win here will be massive. They've got three points to help us at home with a big 3-0 win. And after that, things start to go downhill. So hopefully a win here can turn things back around in our season. Let's do it. Come on. And if Vitesse fail to win and we beat Feyenoord, we go top of the league. So probably anyone up to 30 points could still be in with a fighting chance. Let's get into the match. Okay. Van der Beek starts off with the ball for us. I've seen a number of promising centre-backs, so I'm tempted to buy one of them. And Danny, go on, hey, do straight from the off. Surely not. That was a horribly tight angle, so to even get it knit as far as it was off isn't necessarily a bad thing. Let's come out to Neres. Swing the ball in. Back post. Let me add. Oh! Had their Fico swing an early ball in. Anyone going to get that? No. Jesus going to chase that down. They've just cleared it out for a throw, though, so we're getting three opportunities of attack here. Okay, dear God. Bayern all have gone ahead again. We could, this seems to be our bogey team. We lost 3-0 last time. We're now 1-0 down here. Suljimani has banked the first goal. And a defeat here would put us five points down in the league. Obviously, only around just over halfway through the season, so plenty of time to go, but not a gap you want to have. Who's it? Is it Arsenal? Pla oh, no, it's Frankie de Jong. That's a huge injury. That is it. I think it's coming on, but that is a very big loss. A space out on that left wing, if he can get to it, he has. Lamiad! Oh, good block from them. Very good block. Manchester Lich, get in there. Yes, great challenge. But it's the attack that needs to come on strong right now. Lamiad again on the left wing. Oh, he's done his man. Lamia, go on your own. <sighs> Ten minutes. We need a goal. Desperately right now. This is getting majorly bad. Our season is just crumbling before our eyes. Lamia again. Seems to be, despite being a lower rated player, one of our... But come on, Jesus on the back post! Is that a corner? It is a corner. The play it short. Van Persie's on. There is swing a good ball. That's a good ball! Come on, at the back post, someone at Bun Bash! It's gone away from us again. A second goal is fine now. We may as well concede a second and go for an equaliser. The ball is needed and it's needed now. Come off the man, come off the hour! Oh no, they're swinging up there, come on! One last push! Come on, ref! No! Another big defeat in this episode. Two huge L's or one draw and another, uh, uh, one point from this month. That is awful play. Awful, awful, awful. We are going to be well down in the league after that. It gets worse. Frankie de Jong is out for two months. God, no. I don't know how many fixtures he's going to miss. We're currently on right at the end of January. So he'll be gone for both of our Europa League games against Leipzig as well as a fair bit of the season that may not be back for the games against PSV or ASN Alkmaar. So, that's not gone well either. Let's try and hopefully bag a new signing to push some kind of support up. Okay, so we haven't managed to do a great deal of business, business in this window, but we have managed to bring in a new CDM to the club, which will help bring balance to the midfield. Declan Rice has signed for three and a half 
million pounds. He's currently 71 rated and with Frankie de Jong injured, he's going to jump straight into the starting 11. He'll probably be pushed down to the bench when de Jong is back. For the moment, he's going to sit nicely covering the back line. So I think at least one decent signing has come into the club. Should have a reasonably good potential, I guess, maybe 83 or so. So I guess not all bad, but not the greatest transfer window. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Before we finish, let's take a look at the league. As you can see, things have not gone well of recent. We're down to fourth in the league. A defeat and a draw here, which means one point from the month. We're now five points off first place Fire Nord. We sell three off the Champions League and two behind PSV. Probably the only other team still in contention is AZ Alkmaar with Vitesse really being the shock team of this season. We've also still, as you probably know now, know now into the Europa League. We have got RB Leipzig in the next round, which is going to be a very tough game. They've got some decent players, Timo Werner, Forsberg. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Sorry I'm ill. Peace.